morning guys tell me where you're watching from and if you're watching on the replay please type replay in the comments i am dr annette and i'm here to talk to you this morning about those failed weight loss attempts that you've had and how many times you've actually lost the same 20 pounds i mean have you lost two or 300 pounds over the course of your life, but it's the same 20 pounds that you've lost over and over and over again. If that sounds like you, boy, do I have a treat for you today. This is so exciting. Um, if you've hit a plateau, if you're stuck, if you've been trying to lose weight your entire life and you don't understand why you can't seem to make it happen, um, there's a reason for it. And it's, it's not your fault. I'm telling you that right now. It's not your fault. The problem with what we do is that we've not been trained to eat properly. And unfortunately, with the, the lives that we've led, we actually um, are not healthy. We're not healthy on the inside. So you can see how, if you're not healthy on the inside, how that could affect the outside appearance of your body, right? Being healthy on the inside is so, so, so important. So I hear, get ready for some, some truth bombs here because we're going to talk about hormones. Now, I can't tell you through the course. First of all, my name is Dr. Annette. And if you've never watched me before, I'm a natural healthcare provider. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I love to help people feel better lose weight, have the energy, you know, be better moms and dads because they can do things with their kids that maybe they couldn't have done before, like really start to live a better life overall. And I love self-development. I love to help people um, improve their situations in a, in a whole, a whole body, whole person way. And we're talking about hormones this morning because hormones like insulin are super, super, super important when it comes to being healthier and feeling better and getting those goals that you have achieved for your weight loss plan. So um, if you are one of those people that, whoa, I just opened that up way too far so I can't see anything else on my screen. Um, sorry, guys. I must change this. Okay, so if you are one of those people that has a lot of fat storage, like do you have a spare tire around the middle that you can't seem to get rid of? Do you um, maybe need to figure out how to block some fat or get rid of some fat? The only way you're ever going to be able to do that is by getting control of your insulin. And this is a conversation that most people don't have. This isn't something that's widely known in the health industry as far as patients go. Doctors may know it, but patients don't necessarily know it. And I have a lot of friends who are Google Docs. They like to doctor themselves. So um, this is for those kinds of people, people that need to understand what's going on with their body and why they can't stop losing that same 20 pounds over and over and over again. So insulin is the fat storage hormone. It actually makes your body store fat because, not because it's a bad hormone, but because something has to be done with that fat. It has to go somewhere. It can't just, or I mean sugar. The carbs in your body are what get turned into fat. So if you're eating a high carb diet and you're having a lot of sugar floating around in your body, then guess what? that sugar has to be stored somewhere. It can't stay floating around in there because if it does, it's gonna cause all kinds of issues long-term for your overall health. I mean, even things like your vision are affected by high levels of blood sugar. And I've actually had people um, in my community that I've dealt with that have changed their diet drastically and started drinking ketones and they're starting to feel better. They're starting to drop some fat. And they've come to me and said, could it be possible that I might need new glasses? <laughs> and I'm like, why? Are you seeing better? And they're like, well, honestly, I see better with my glasses off now than I did with them on. And that's because of the change in the blood sugar levels. 
it really affects those tiny capillaries in a way that you can't even understand so if you're having issues like people that have a lot of blood sugar issues have vision issues they have neuropathy which is pain and numbness in the fingers and toes and feet and some people can't even walk anymore because they have such bad neuropathy now I'm not saying that I can reverse that because that's something that took a long time to happen but if you start making changes in your life now start making changes to get yourself healthier now who knows what could possibly happen and the whole concept of this video isn't that losing weight makes you healthy it's more that getting healthy will help you lose weight and all of the benefits that are going to come along with that so the only way to make that happen is to get control of your insulin levels manage your health and guess what the fat loss will just start to happen on its own and i bet you're wondering how to make that happen guess what i'm absolutely here to help you do that so you want to know how to burn your own fat for fuel and i'm sure you've heard about the keto diet i mean my shirt even says ketones naturally um you want to know about some people ask me about the paleo diet some people want to know like what it is that they can do oh let's see that landed in the wrong spot there we go um so it's all about controlling insulin and how do you control insulin you have to cut the carbs and I typically recommend that you cut carbs way down, like less than 20 net carbs a day. And if you need to know what net carbs are, I have a whole nother video on that. And um, if you wanna know um, how to buffer your insulin, when you eat meats, make sure that they're meats that have fat in them. Don't eat no fat meat. Eat meat with fat in it. Make sure you're eating foods that actually have the fat in them. Don't eat foods that had the fat taken out. So if you're buying hamburger per se don't buy the the extremely low fat hamburger get the one that has a little bit of fat in it because it's going to be better for you and it's actually going to keep your insulin levels from rising when you eat that protein and the rest of your meal um, something else that people are not usually aware of is you should never eat a sandwich never put meat between two pieces of bread and eat it because your body can't utilize all of that at the same time and ends up spiking your insulin even more than it would if you just had meat or carbs by themselves make sure that you're not overeating protein eat only three to six ounces of protein at a time don't overdo it don't get the 12 ounce ribeye guys if you do share it with someone um, msg i know it's pretty popular these days for people to avoid msg but you need to make sure that you're avoiding MSG because it also spikes your insulin and it makes you more hungry. It makes you want to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. So avoid MSG. Make sure you're asking, especially if you're going to restaurants where they serve um, rice and dishes like that together. I don't want to like name a bunch of things, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, and stress. Stress spikes insulin because it affects your adrenals. Learn to manage your stress. Make sure that you are walking every day. Make sure that you're learning to deal with the stress that you have in your life. And if you have outside stressors that you cannot control, maybe talk to somebody about how you can better manage that stress. Like literally see someone that might be able to help you. And don't eat too frequently. We, were, we used to be told to keep your blood sugar level, you needed to eat five or six meals a day. Well, they're finding now that you're better off to do intermittent fasting which is not eating other than maybe about eight hours out of your day. So like from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. ish in a day. So eat your lunch and eat your dinner, but skip breakfast. We used to always be told never eat breakfast. It's bad for you. But guess what? When you wake up in the morning, you're typically in a fasted state already. So if you can avoid eating till later in the day, guess what? You're in a better position to burn more fat. And here's the deal. If, you, um, if you're eating three or four or five or six times a day, guess what you're doing? Every time you eat, you're spiking your insulin. And every time your insulin spikes, it takes a while. It takes your body a while to break that down and get back to its normal state. So just by cheating, just by having a cheeseburger with the bread on it, you could actually stop yourself from losing fat for over 48 hours. It can really mess up your weight loss if you're actually cheating. So you shouldn't cheat. You should be super careful. You should plan ahead. You should make sure that you're doing meal planning and keeping those carbohydrates low. But if you do cheat, be prepared. It's going to be at least 48 hours before you start burning fat again and maybe longer. 
but carbohydrates also make you retain water especially breads and pastas and things like that so you might lose some of that water weight but you're not going to start burning fat again until after about forty eight hours so that's one of the ways that you can avoid insulin resistance and tomorrow we're going to talk about insulin resistance and how it works and how maybe you might be able to turn some of those things around by making some changes to your health and doing some other things. So thank you so much for watching. Come back tomorrow where we're going to talk about insulin resistance. I hope you like the new video format. Sorry, Instagram, you can't see it. But um, I'm going to try to be more, do more things like this to help you guys out as far as keeping track of how to make your health better and how to get yourself to where you're not using the scale to manage the same 20 or 40 pounds over and over and over again. Let's see that going down and stay that way by getting healthier, by making your hormones work for you instead of against you, and by getting your body to a healthier status so that things start happening naturally the way they should. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for insulin resistance. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you're tempted to eat a sandwich today, just say no. I love you guys. And remember, that you're amazing. You're wonderful. And you are a unique, amazing person just the way you are. The world needs you to show up exactly the way you are because you are special. Thanks for watching.